How's it going, everybody? If you guys are new to my channel, I design, build, and make some sort of 3D printed fishing lure. And after I'm done, you guys can download that yourselves for free and make it yourself. Now, on today's agenda, we're making rain bait. If you guys don't know what rain bait is, it's a general bait fish term used for bait that makes like a little ripple effect on the top of the water. They're usually very fast swimming and it almost looks like raindrops hitting the water. Now, where I'm located on the northeast coast, it is almost always the bay anchovy. So we're going to model this lure directly off of the bay anchovy. We got our picture in the background and I'm going to take a little liberty with the tail. I want it to be quick moving, so rather than doing a paddle tail or a curly tail, I'm going to do like a little fork tail. Now this should have a really nice action when you're working this very quick. Now the bay anchovy goes up and down the entire eastern seaboard of the United States, so it should really work all over the place. And I'm sure it would make a great imitation of something else in the west coast or anywhere else in the world. It would probably even work as a larger freshwater bait even for bass. I mean it's still a general fish design even though it's not designed after a freshwater fish so I modeled this out on Fusion 360 and then I printed this on my Anycubic Photon Mono X using Sariatech Sculpt Clear resin. This mold is made so you guys can also print it on an FDM printer if that's what you have available. You guys can download this mold for free in the description below, and then we're going to go inject this bad boy. Alright, so our mold's ready. I have injected this a bunch of times already. I have a ton of white ones of these. So it works good. That's what's important. So all I did after I cleaned this was I sanded the little elephant's foot down in the bottom so we can get a good seal on the mold. Now this one wasn't as transparent as the grub mold. I think it looks better on camera due to the lighting. But all I did was clear coat the outside of this half and it made a huge difference. So hopefully you guys can see that a lot better when we inject it. I'm going to mix up some pink now and we're going to go to some chartreuse and see how they look. Right, our pink's ready. You guys are wondering why there's a bunch of extra holes in this. That's because I put more in than I think I needed. I mean, worse comes to worst. If you don't need all these ones, then you guys save on resin. Not by much, but every little bit counts. And I figured everyone could play with uh, the amount of bolts, where you put them, just so you can save time. Just take a picture with which ones work good for you. Everyone's hand tight's going to be different, so I'm hoping this doesn't flash out. I'm sure a lot of you guys are just going to stick this in a vise anyway, so... See how this works. We just barely had enough plastic in this to do this. But the good news is I see nothing flashing out, which is really nice. One more little top off, and I will see you guys when this is all hardened up. All right, this should be cooled off by now. Time to do mold. And this is what we're left with. Not too bad. Here's one of them. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but there's a little tiny, tiny bit of an outline above it. But I'm certainly not worried about that. I'm very excited for these. These tails are super fluttery. They're going to flutter around in the water great. So you're just bouncing this off the bottom, bouncing it through the top of the water column. And I think this profile is going to work really good bay anchovies are everywhere i know people here the main thing i see people fish for them with is albies but i know fluke eat them too bonita but i think this is going to be a great inshore bait i'm very excited to test out so i'm going to clamp this back together and mix up some chartreuse for you guys and then i'm going to show you the eyes we're putting on them and how those look and we'll move on to the next project But we're going to inject with our big injector on this one. Alright, I'll see you guys when this is ready to demold. Okay, it's time to demold number two in our chartreuse. So 
one came out quite beautiful yet again. Same thing, different color. Now that's what our chartreuse looks like. I'm going to get some of these lined up and I'm going to show you guys the eyes we're going to put on and then we'll move on to the next bait. Alright, so these are our final products. We got white, pink, and chartreuse. Well, not final, final. We got one last step left and I think this adds a lot of value to it. It'll be these. Now these are just six millimeter glass stick on eyes. I got these on Amazon. It was like a 216 pack for 10 bucks. You guys can put any stick on eyes you want. This is just the eye socket hole is designed for a six millimeter eye. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do the pink one on camera and the rest off camera. So all we have to do is get a little dab of super glue in there. This just holds it because the adhesive on the eye is not really strong enough to hold it over time, especially in a bag with oil and in salt water. So we're just going to carefully place that eye on. Be careful not to touch the super glue, otherwise it'll get stuck in there. All right, and that's our eye. So I think these are really nice baits. I'm very excited to use them. So let's just finish these up. All right, we have our white, pink, and chartreuse baits all done now. You guys can shoot these in any color you want. And you guys can also add any scent you guys want. For this batch, I'm probably going to be using the Procure Flounder Pounder again. However, they do have an anchovy scent too, which this being a bay anchovy, I would assume would work pretty good. Of course, you guys could always throw in whatever scent you want, depending on where you're located at and what your target species. The only other thing I did is the Ziploc bags weren't really working out so good, so I picked up these actual lure bags. They're just clear lure bags, and I got a hundred of these for 20 bucks. The scent doesn't ooze out through these, and you can get them in different sizes on bait plastics, so I will be bagging all my baits in these from now on. I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. You guys have an allure idea you want me to make next, definitely leave me a suggestion. I'm always looking for things to make that you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.